Hey CJ, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing, and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I am shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that's certainly something that we specialize in, and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you today and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was in fact helpful for you. But we'll go ahead and get started. The three things we'll be covering today are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content. And content is anything that you can see here on your website. That does also include the pictures and what the pictures are saved as as well. Um, so typically Google likes to see about 1500 words of content on a home page. Um, I would suggest you all add a bit more content to your site and that will give you more of an opportunity to be able to add in those keywords and key phrases that people are going to be searching for when they're looking for your services. That will help out a tremendous amount. So next up is citations. And I did just a quick Google search here, and the first thing that comes up is this section. This is called the map pack. And citations have a lot to do with that section. What a citation is, basically, is your business name, address, and telephone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And by directories, I mean things like Facebook, um, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and really anywhere else that will allow business owners to add in those business details and services. So you all would want to see where your competition is being listed within those directories. And you would certainly want to grab those listings for your business, but you also don't just want to stop there. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you all would want to grab those 10 for yourself, but then you want to double, triple, quadruple, whatever it is they have. Um, so you want 20, 30, 40, 50, that is going to make it to where you're completely dominating them in that space, but it will also help you to rank high on the maps here as well. So we'll move on to backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section underneath the maps. This is called the organic section. And the way backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it as well. But not all backlinks are created equal. So for example, let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided to take a link from their site and send one back to yours, but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not going to be very helpful for you. You all would want to get links from other window covering companies that send a link back to your site and signal to Google that number one, that is the correct industry for you. And number two, that you are trustworthy. That's going to be a lot more unique, but also a lot more powerful in Google's eyes because it is relevant to your industry. And I did pull up a tool that I use here and put your site into it. So right now it's showing you all have one referring domain, which is giving you one backlink and getting you found for two keywords, but it doesn't look like it's driving any traffic to your site. Um, and I did pull up one of the competitors here just to show you. So it shows they have 4.63 thousand referring domains which is giving them 681,000 backlinks, getting them found for 71.3 thousand keywords. And that is driving 82.8 thousand people to their website just per month, which is huge. But let's take a look and see if we can look at the keywords um, that they're being found for and kind of give you an idea of the types of things you'd want to integrate into your content. So we're looking for buyer intent keywords. That would be anything that someone is going to think to actually type into that search bar when they're looking for your services. Um, so here's a good one, uh, Budget Blinds Greensboro. So they are actually listing that location here um, and they are ranking for their company name, which is not surprising. Let's see what else they have here. Let's see. So yeah, it looks like they do a lot of their own business name, which obviously if anybody searches your business name, um, you should be the one that's coming up. Uh, window coverings near me. There's another good one. Uh, it's listing the service that's being offered and then it wants to know that it's near the location of whoever's searching for it. 
So again, I won't bore you and have us go through all of these because they have so many keywords, but I hope that does at least give you an idea of the kinds of things that you'd be looking for. And really, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. Um, that's the kind of thing that is going to get you on that first page of Google, but it's also going to make it to where once you're kind of surpassing what it is your competition is doing by doubling or tripling or quadrupling that, it's going to make it very difficult for them to even keep up with you at that point. But that's really all that I have for you today, CJ. I do hope that this video was helpful. Um, if you'd like to know more about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help to grow your business via your online presence, please do contact us. We would love to talk to you about that. But thanks again for your time and you have a good day.